Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. My name is Erin Muffletto and I'm your host for the day. Today we are at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're talking about Albuquerque economic development. We have Bob Walton with us today and he's the Vice President of AED. So tell us a little bit about Albuquerque Economic Development. They've been recruiting businesses to Albuquerque for years, right? Aaron, thanks so much, and thanks for Comcast for having us here. We like to chance for telling our story. Yeah, Albuquerque Economic Development is a private nonprofit, been around for 55 years now. And for many of those, most of those years, they um, did recruitment. Mm -hmm. and recruit, they recruited probably uh, uh, about 250 companies and maybe put on about 30,000 employees. Wow. So we've been doing that for a long time until I joined AED in 2002 and started working on existing business development. Right, so you don't only just bring in new business, but you help the companies in Albuquerque. Right, and, and that's new for us. It's, right. well, 13 years old now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I had spent 35 years um, in manufacturing with some uh, major companies working internationally and retired and then came to work for AED. And at that time, the board decided that it's probably time we start working with the local existing businesses. Mm -hmm. So started that program. About three years into the program, um, I was out with the mayor and he said, Bob, we want you to do more of this. Yeah. And I said, well, we need Need more people so <laughs> so since that period of time the city's economic development department has been funding uh, an additional employee and that person is Dennis Houston okay. Dennis Houston has a background he was a CFO for many of the major companies here and so Dennis brings this financial uh, strength and I bring the manufacturing strength to our to our local businesses what we found out early on was that this is a very rich place, Albuquerque and New Mexico, a very rich place to grow and <coughs> businesses, not only bring them into town, but to, to grow them. Yeah. We have so many incentives and so many programs. Mm -hmm. So have you seen a large, uh, a big change in those small businesses? Well, more small businesses? Well, I'm not so sure it changed, but we, they certainly have benefited from, from what we do. Yeah. Let me speak about some of the incentives that we got that are, are helping these businesses. Okay. Uh, the state has uh, uh, state statutory incentives is what we call them, and they're for economic-based businesses. Mm -hmm. An economic-based business is a manufacturer or they're a service company that has more than 50% of their uh, revenues coming from outside the state. What mm -hmm. the state wants to do is reward companies that bring fresh dollars into the economy it's, rather than just rotating dollars. And right. So a couple of those incentives, uh, there's a job training incentive program and that pays um, a company half a new employee's salary for a period of time up to six months. There's mm -hmm. also a high waste job tax credit that employees that make $60,000 or more, the company can receive a $30,000 tax credit That's on that $60,000 job over a four year period of time. And this is all kind of looking like cash. Yeah. So the other thing that's going on is um, the legislature a couple of years ago made a change in gross receipts tax mm -hmm. on consumables for manufacturers. And so now manufacturers don't have to pay gross receipts tax on their power, on their water, on their gas, wow. on consumables that they use out in the shop floor. The problem we're having um, is that people don't know about it. Yeah. And so that's what we're out there doing. Uh, hardly anybody's using that gross receipts tax. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then the other thing we do is uh, we put a lot of partners on. We that's can't, right, you have a lot of partners. We do. <laughs> and over, and it keeps growing as we find a need for them. We probably have over 30 partners. Wow. And these partners provide services uh, usually at little or no cost. So a couple of them, um, there's one called PTAP. Uh, that's Procurement Technical Assistance Program. Hmm. And you're gonna like this because <laughs> if you had a company you wanna get into governmental business, uh -huh. it's, this is a federal, federally funded program. What they do is they come and they show you how to get government contracts. Once you get them, they show you how to execute that contract and hold your hand all the way through it. And this is federal, state, or local. Hmm. Uh, there's a group called MEP, the Manufacturing yeah. Extension Partnership. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard of yeah. them. <laughs> and these are for, this is for companies that want to uh, put lean manufacturing in and process improvements, logistics improvements, things of, of that nature. And then another one that people really don't know about, it's the New Mexico Small Business Assistance Program. 
this, this program is with uh, Sandia National Labs and with Los Alamos National Labs. And so if you're a technical company and you have a technical problem, you can go to this program and you can get $10,000 worth of assistance from lab scientists and engineers. Wow. Yeah. Now, is this all part of your business to business program? Um, no, and I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> business to business is something we've been doing since the start, but we've gotten so much better at it. We have like 1,500 clients now that we've served in the last 13 years. Wow. And so we've gotten to know their capabilities and what they can do. So when Dennis and I are like walking through a factory, uh, we'll look at components and we'll say, hey, where did you get this made? You know, yeah. and they got it made in Texas or Arizona, or they're getting a service from outside the state. What we do is we put them in touch with local companies companies that can do that work for them. Wow. That's one of the easiest ways to grow the economy here. Take existing needs and just, just bring them home. Yeah. The other, oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, we're running short on time. Oh. So if somebody wants to get involved with yeah. AED, how do they do that? Well, our website's the easiest way. It's a really good website and it's a simple one. It's abq.org. ABQ.org. That's a great website. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so it's easy, and we're trying to get the word out. Like I say, we have these great programs, and the thing is, we just got to let the companies know about it. And anybody can be involved, not just businesses, correct? It's primarily um, the economic-based businesses right. are what we primarily work with, because we have the most for them. Yeah. And there's not enough of us to cover everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bob, thank you so much hey. for joining us today. Uh, Bob Walton is with Albuquerque Economic Development, and we appreciate your time today. Well, thank you. It's been it's been a real pleasure. Thanks. Thanks. My name is Erin Muffaletto for Comcast Newsmakers, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.